come and go like a rah rah rah. They don't want the two be going Hello and welcome back to Create with Chidex. I'm Chidima, and as this is my first video for the year, I'd love to wish you beautiful people a very happy new year. I'm really sorry for my late start to the year. I was actually not feeling well and as a result I lost my voice so I couldn't make any videos. As you can probably still tell, my voice is still on the mend. It hasn't fully come back yet, but I'll just get on right to this. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made a coconut cake. And I really hope you enjoy the video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that subscribe button because I've got a lot of interesting ideas for future cake videos. And you never know what's going to come up next week. I don't even know for certain myself. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell as well so you get notified when I post new videos. So I'll just get on right to making the cake. Here I have a small round cake which I'm cutting into two halves. I'm working with just one half of the cake so the next thing I'll do will be to fill the cake with buttercream. and then carve it into a small oval shape just like a coconut After carving, I'll give it a crumb coat of buttercream before moving on and covering it with brown modeling chocolate. Now I'm taking some brown modeling chocolate and rolling it out. So I've covered my rolling surface with cornstarch to prevent it from sticking. After rolling the modeling chocolate, I'm covering the entire cake with it. And then trimming away the excess. Now I'm pinching one end of the cake to give it a slightly pointy tip. Then I'm creating some lines going in the same direction to start off the coconut husk texture. Here I'm creating the three dots, also known as the coconut eyes, at the other end of the cake. Before I move on, I want to give the coconut cake that hairy texture of a coconut husk. So I'm cutting out strips from edible wafer paper. Then using a mixture that I made from some water, edible brown gel color and a few drops of glycerin, I started applying the strips onto the cake. So I'm rubbing the mixture both on the surface of the cake and then on the wafer paper strips after applying them.
After applying the strips, using the same brush, I dabbed on a very light coat of edible brown color on some parts of the cake to give it some additional dimension. Then using the microwave, I melted some of the modeling chocolate left over from covering the cake and then spread it lightly over the cake using a spatula. Next, I painted the three coconut eyes black with some black powdered food color. Then to take away some of the shine from the melted modeling chocolate and also add some depth to the texture, I mixed some hot chocolate with shortening and then spread it lightly over the cake with a flat brush. And finally you have it. The coconut cake is done. And now I'm going to cut the cake. As I've now come to the end of the video, I would like to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!